Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Heather and this is Dollar for Dollar. We are talking about Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps. I gave you an overview in the last video of what those seven steps are. And so today's video, we're all focused on baby step one. What is baby step one? Well, as a quick refresher, baby step one says that you're gonna have $1,000 set aside in an emergency fund. Now here's the kicker. This is meant to be scary. I know what you're thinking. $1,000 is not enough if my car were to completely break down. I get it. And it's meant to be scary because it's meant to be a motivator to move you through the first couple of steps quickly. That is the goal. You are having some sort of motivation, some sort of motivator to make sure that you are not stagnant. As Dave Ramsey has said before, what happens to pond water when it's stagnant? It becomes scummy. He doesn't want you to become scummy. I thought that was really funny when I heard him say that before, so I just wanted to repeat that. But essentially, baby step one is really frightening, and honestly, it's the scariest of all the baby steps because you're supposed to only set aside $1,000. Anything above that $1,000 will automatically be allocated towards your debt repayment, okay? If you have $1,000 already, great. You've already checked off baby step one, you're good to go. If you don't have $1,000 already in your bank account and you can't make that emergency fund, you need to quickly, as quickly as humanly possible, build up to that $1,000 emergency fund so that you can actively start working on your debt repayment strategy so you can move on to baby step two. Now, before you move to baby step two, what is also recommended by Dave Ramsey is that you create a budget so that you have a game plan. Literally, a budget is just a way for you to tell your money where to go. It's you deciding how that money is going to be allocated. I really don't like it when people hate on budgets or think that you know being on a budget means you're like cheap or you have to be super frugal or it means you're just broke. That's not what it means. There are plenty of people out there who are well off that budget. And you know why they budget? They budget because they want to manage that money. They're a good steward of the money they have. Think about it. Do you know any brilliant rich people out there who have no idea what their money is doing, how their money is working, where that money is going? No, they're very much involved in that process. They know exactly what is happening with their money and that is how they continue to build wealth. So hear me, what's really important in baby step one is not only that you have a $1,000 emergency fund, but that you also create a budget. If you don't have a budget, there are tons of apps out there where you can just download them onto your phone. You can also use them on your computer. You can just go to a website and use them and log in that way. There's also templates online. You can, if you like old school paper and pen, you can download templates and you can just write in on that budget. Every time you take out money or you have an expense, you can track your money that way. But absolutely crucial to starting your seven baby steps is having a budget. If you can't get a budget, you're automatically doomed for failure because you're failing to plan. And that's what a budget is. A budget is literally just planning out where your money's gonna go. You've already worked for it, you've already earned it. Now let's make sure it's working for you. So baby step one in a nutshell, again, you're gonna have a $1,000 emergency fund, only $1,000, not 2,000, 1,000, I know that can be intimidating, and also create a budget. It's extremely important, not only if you have debt, but just in general to your entire financial well-being. I love having a budget. I think it's personally really freeing. I find that I enjoy knowing where my money's going and I get to decide where that money goes. I don't just let random things slip in and just wastefully spend it because I worked really hard for that money. So you've worked hard for your money, make sure that money is working hard for you too. So know where your money's going, make a budget. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave me a comment below on maybe your favorite budgeting app, or if you're new to budgeting, I'd love to hear from you. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you on the next video.